Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in sunny Fort Lauderdale and we're taking a look at Glory B. She's a 2008 Lagoon 420 diesel electric hybrid right in back of me. She is an owner version and this boat, yes, is a, a diesel electric hybrid, uh, you know, as the 420 was originally intended to be. Not not with the original system, It's it's been updated, but uh, still an interesting, an interesting specimen and I uh, think she's really interesting and I'd like to take you on board. As always, there's lots to cover here, so I'll have a full info sheet down in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the tour. All right, so we're here on the Lagoon 420 Glory B. We're looking aft at the salon. We've got two opening windows to the uh, salon. You notice how all of the lines on this boat are led back aft to the helm station. And this is the Lagoon 420, not its uh, elder sister, the 421. So the hard top is separate from the, uh, from the uh, rest of the coach roof. Uh, some people have actually told me that they prefer this arrangement uh, to the 421 just because you get more breeze into the uh, aft cockpit. So on top of the hard top, notice we have a total of three solar panels. This boat is a diesel electric hybrid, uh, but it doesn't have a huge amount of solar. Um, there's only three, you know, medium sized solar panels. There's certainly space for you to add more. In fact, aft of the Traveler, you could even add an entire arch. But uh, I guess the owner just didn't think it was uh, all that necessary, so he didn't. Looking forward, we've got good access to the mainsail here. We'll pop back down to look at the foredeck. You notice that the Lagoon 420 is one of the few, in fact, perhaps the only Lagoon that was uh, ever built without a cross beam. The bridge deck and this whole uh, Trident bow system is just big enough, you don't really need one. So this boat has a Rockna anchor, as well as a, uh, you know, a small little bowsprit up there that was welded on to uh, allow you to fly the spinnaker. You've got your windlass uh, down here and your sail locker is in that hatch. One final glimpse of the foredeck before moving on. This boat has one shroud. And one set of spreaders. As we make our way aft, we'll come to the access to the mechanical space. Uh, it's currently locked, but down in here, you have your lithium battery bank. Originally, the Lagoon 420 was built with uh, sort of heavier wet cell batteries, but frankly that didn't work, and in this day and age it would definitely not fly, so this boat is fully lithium. It's a 48 volt system for the, uh, for the motors. And we'll, I'll flash the motors as well, because actually uh, the way this works is motors are under the bed, they're electric, so there's no, uh, you know, no risk of fumes. Coming back to the aft cockpit, we're down here at the level of the davits, which are shown as such. And as well as that's where your uh, life raft uh, typically would be, but the owner decided to move it to the same uh, area as the generator. Before moving forward, I'd just like to call your attention to just how, you know, big and nice and sort of airy the aft cockpit feels. I know it seems a little ludicrous to say that about an exterior space, but not all aft cockpits are created equal. We'll pop over to the other sugar scoop where we find our uh, folding swim ladder, second mechanical space with the other half of the batteries, two sets of stairs that lead to the helm station. You've got a pair of Harkin winches where your lines are led back, as well as a uh, full suite of new Raymarine, newer Raymarine electronics, and the third Harkin winch for the remaining halyards. Your uh, steering station, tack and your throttles. 
Uh, this boat, this boat, of course, you know, having an electric engine, uh, doesn't have, you know, typical tachometers. All right, we'll follow the interior stairs down to the recessed cockpit area where you have seating for six to eight persons, as well as the compartment that houses the only uh, diesel engine on the boat. Yes, technically generators are a form of engine. They create energy. Uh, it's a 21 and a half kilowatt uh, Onan generator, has a little under a thousand hours. And if you're curious about the range calculations on this boat, uh, it can motor, I'm told, uh, based on the 48 volt uh, house battery bank for about two and a half to four hours. And when you throw the generator into the mix, you get a total of about 2,000 nautical miles of range. Um, admittedly, uh, given that the Lagoon 420 has always been considered by myself and several other people more of a coastal cruiser, uh, some people may question the you know wisdom of converting a boat to diesel electric hybrid, but again, given that the most people who buy 420s aren't the uh, aren't super interested in blue water sailing, it actually, in my opinion, is not necessarily the worst candidate for a conversion like this. Though no shade to the owner, he did sail this boat across the Atlantic Ocean from the Med, so uh, props to him. I definitely appreciate him doing that. We'll finish up our tour as usual on the interior, where we'll find some of the 420's less esoteric features. I've got a panorama of vertical wraparound windows. Off to port, we've got the galley with uh, countertop space, dual basin sink, drying rack, three burner stove and oven, as well as a sliding uh, glass panel that opens to the aft cockpit. Forward, you have a small but very well appointed nav station with a swing seat and gorgeous table as well, really nice condition with an L-shaped settee and an ottoman and of course under the ottoman you do have more storage. I did say some of the less esoteric features were on the interior but uh, the helm the sorry head arrangement is uh, one of those things on the 420 you have to get used to. Opens from two directions and the aft and you've got a double a double opening doors to your walk-in shower. The aft guest cabin has uh, three three storage drawers under the bed as well as you've got nice big windows to let in lots of light. And the forward guest cabin is in a thwartship berth with same storage arrangement. However, the head is split in two, the shower being forward. And the remainder being in the aft compartment. So the four, the four cabin version of this boat is uh, definitely a bit confusing to uh, many people, but this is the owner's. So we'll pop over and finish up in the owner's suite. As usual, you've got a sliding, sliding door for the owner's privacy. And the 420 is, in my opinion, or in fact, it's not really my opinion, it's sort of a fact, made to be one of the most spacious lagoons of its generation. Uh, it was made nice and big to accommodate, of course, all of the old wet cell batteries, but with those gone, now it's just a very, very comfortable catamaran. So in the owner's suite, you've got more storage under the bed, a semi walk around berth here. And despite the fact that I know this boat, it doesn't sail particularly well, but people do love the owner suite on here. 420 owners uh, versions do keep their value very well. So you've got a settee on the port side of the owner suite, starboard across from it. The remaining of your storage is back uh, here. And the owner's head another walk-in shower with your sink vanity lots of storage two whole two whole doors here and of course the aforementioned window I will look at the bilges as well just because I don't look at 
I don't look, I haven't done too many nitty gritty videos recently, but here's how the bilges are arranged. Bilges are always a good sign of a boat kept in good condition. Nice to see everything organized. So that is our tour of the Lagoon 420 uh, Glory B. It's lying here in Fort Lauderdale. If you have any more uh, questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike, leave a comment, and drop me a line. All right, as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.